Here is how I built the perfect PC for Windows 11. So let's say you've been loving the Windows 11 open beta, but heard about the strict requirements that Microsoft expects from a PC to be able to run Windows 11 when it finally releases. Well, I've got good news for you because in this video we're going to build a powerful yet small and beautiful PC without RGB that is ready for Windows 11. Some creating and maybe some gaming. So let's go over the parts before we build it. Talking about the parts, if you feel like checking the prices or want to build this exact PC, the links to all the products will be in the description below. If you've never built a custom PC but you really want to, make sure to check my class on Skillshare, learning to build a PC. Talking about that, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video, but more about that later. Hi, my name is Felix and this is How to Creative with everything you need to create. In this case, a PC. So, let's open up some packages and show you which parts we are using to build this PC. First of all, the GPU. As you probably have noticed, the GPU market has been crazy. So that's why we got the GeForce GTX 1650 Super, which provides the most FPS and power for the price. Next up, we've got some other parts. As the main storage to host Windows 11, we have a very good M2 NVMe SSD drive. A 1TB Samsung 970 EVO Plus, which reads and writes around 3.5GB per second. Then we have two DDR4 HyperX RAM modules. This is 32GB running at 3600GHz. And then, most importantly, the CPU, which is the new Ryzen 7 5800X. To glue this all together, we need a motherboard. The ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming ITX seemed like the perfect fit, which also supports the newer generation of AMD CPUs. Finally, we have the case. The 2021 version of the NZXT H1 in black. A beautiful, small and minimal mini ITX case. It has a very small footprint on the desk and I feel the design is really in line with Windows 11. That's it for the parts. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it and which part or parts you would have picked. All right, it's time to get building. The hardest part of building in the H1 was honestly opening it up. No, but all jokes aside, building in it was a breeze. The manual was very clear and two screws had to be removed. The CPU cooler lifted up in order to reach the inside of the case. Now it's time to open up the B550 motherboard. It comes with Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi antenna. Now that the motherboard is removed from the plastic, let's open up the Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. Let's install this bad boy on the motherboard first. All right, let's take a quick break to talk about this video sponsor, Skillshare. Well, most of you probably already know Skillshare as an online creative community for people that want to learn online. And during my university, I finished about a year ago, I learned how much stuff can be taught online and I wouldn't be where I am today without it. Skillshare is the perfect place for you to watch some professionals in the creative field explain their trade. And my biggest reason why I love Skillshare is because I can get premium content from other content creators that I really like and look up to. I also like that the classes are not too long, not too short, and have very high production quality. If you want to build your first custom PC, I highly recommend you to check out my one hour class on how to build a PC. You can actually watch this for free because there is a limited time offer that the first thousand of you to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Let's get back to it. Now with the CPU all nice and tight, let's install the RAM or random access memory on the motherboard. This mini ITX motherboard only has two RAM slots. You can get two 32 gigabyte modules, which makes 64 gigabytes in total. But for this build, 16 gigabytes per module or 32 gigabytes in total was more than enough. 
If you don't like RGB, I think the HyperX Furies are perfect. Before we install the motherboard with all its components in the H1 case, we still need to install the storage, which goes directly on the motherboard. For our main most important drive, we will install it under the thermal guard. Just don't forget to remove the thermal tape. Time to remove some protective plastic, now we can still easily reach it. It's nice that this motherboard has a built-in I.O. shield. Let's install the motherboard in the NZXT H1 case. Just slide it in. Let's tighten the motherboard to the case with four screws. By the way, I'm using the Xiaomi F1 Plus electronic screwdriver. Uh, you can find it in the description below or check out my video about it. It's in the right corner. And um, yeah, it's amazing for PC building. Next, we connect the PCIe riser cable to the motherboard, which is basically an extension cable for the GPU, which we will attach later. Let's install the liquid CPU cooler to the CPU. Tightening the two screws and it's easy as that. Now we connect all the cables to the motherboard. Starting off with powering the motherboard and the CPU. Now we attach the USB 3 headers. And lastly, we connect the CPU cooler pump and controller. A little cable management before we close the case up. Now it's time to close it back up with everything installed. Of course, we finish with what we started, the GPU. Let's quickly unbox it. The GPU goes on the side of the case, connected into the riser card. And that's it. Time to turn the power supply on and close the case up. Final touch, peel of the protective plastic and sticker. A quick wipe on the glass and there is your perfect PC for Windows 11. Black, beautiful and a lot of power for general stuff, some video editing or gaming. Now the important step. Let's go into the BIOS to set some things up for Windows 11. It does seem to recognize all the parts, which is very nice. First thing is we go to OC Tweakers and turn on the XMP profile. For now, we will leave it on the first setting. Next, we turn all the RGB off that might still be present. And lastly, for Windows 11, we turn the AMD FTPM chip on. Now we save changes, and that's it. Windows 11 has been running perfect for a few weeks now. All right, thank you for sticking till the end of the video. I've spent a lot of time and energy making it, so if you enjoyed it and you haven't already, consider subscribing to get future videos right into your inbox and maybe drop a like if you think the algorithm should show it to more people that might also like the video, who knows? If you decided to go build your own very first PC and you watched the class on Skillshare or maybe you're going to but still need help or want to help others, feel free to join the How to Creative Discord server to talk with fellow creators and PC builders for any thoughts, questions or suggestions. Now let me know in the comments below and see you in the next video and don't forget, stay creative.